Hello, students of class seven. I have answered this question number four from your lesson, the chess players. And here, this is a uh, comprehensive, uh, comprehensive type question. The lines are given. The extracted lines are given here. You can see they have the artillery too. There must be some 5,000 men. They are fascists, so right? One is afraid to look at them. Sir, don't make excuses. Don't use these ruses. Check. You are a strange man. Here, the city is in danger. And you, you are only thinking of Jake and mate. Have you thought how we shall go home is if the city is besieged? So, this is the extract. Now the questions. A. Where are the speakers at this time? What are they doing here? Why are they do, uh, doing this in this particular place? The speakers are at the deserted mosque. They are playing chess here. They are playing chess here so that no one can find and disturb. No one can find and disturb them. Here comes, uh, here the first slide comes to an end. And for the remaining questions we will have to move on to the next slide let's do it so here it is question b who does they refer to in the first line of the extract where are they going and what do they intend to do do they succeed answer they are the five thousand soldiers of the british army they were going to Avat to capture Nawab Wazid Ali Shah. Yes, they had been successful in capturing Wazid Ali Shah without any commotion or bloodshed in the city. Now the final question of this question number four. See, that is explain what a second speaker means when he says, Sir, don't make excuses. Don't use these reuses. Now the answer by saying this me Mir Sahab meant that what Mirja was telling about the British army were just excuses and reuses to avoid getting defeated in the game. So he asked him to stop his excuses and reuses means tricks. So with that uh, the presentation comes to an end. I will come up with new things in the next presentation. Till that time, goodbye. Thank you.